Welcome back to ABAP on VTP series. This is part 4. I am your friend Pawan, the start. Basically, we would be creating another HTTP service, this time with input parameters and integrate with a standard class. Let's jump to the system. Open up Eclipse. You can create a HTTP service by going to File menu or you can just right click on the HTTP service tab and select New. Give a name to a second service say SAP second program on cloud, for instance. Select the local tier that you have created. Go to the handler class. Under the handle request method, let's type in few line of code. We are going to get the form parameters from the service URL. To get that, we are going to call a method get form fields. Once the parameters have been captured into the internal table, we are going to read the table into lrpara with key input. Remember, input is the parameter name. Oops. So we're going to write a case statement for value. Say that the value of this parameter is one. So in that case, we are going to show a text. Say response set text. Hello, welcome to cloud project. Why not? Because we are doing it. <laughs> Next. For others, we can type in response set status to 400 and say wrong values passed. It is kind of error handling. There are two parameters you need to set, iCode and iReason. iCode would be 400 status and iReason would be the actual value that would be written that is wrong value passed. So we have got the parameters, we have read the parameter by the key input. For that input, whatever is the value, we are going to read it and according to the value, we are going to respond. Let's check it once. Save and activate. Copy the URL and go to the browser. Let's append the URL. Append the URL with an input equals to one. There you go. Now let's do some changes. Let's give it a meaningful name like send so we get the form fields and then based on the key we read them and based on the value we are just setting the status let's put a few lines of code for error handling Also, for example, we'll create another set status. Say that visit abapa.vb.com. There you are. Let's talk about a standard class that we'll use. We'll be using it. CL ABAP Context Info. This is a standard class and it has a set of methods. We can use any of these. Say that we use the set user technical name. For that, we are going to create a new value, say system. 
and set the respond text as a dynamic text. Maybe this time we say executed by and and pass the value which is coming up from this method. Get user's technical name. What this would do is it would create a string concatenated and then set the text. Activate it. Change the value to system. There you go. My user ID is displayed dynamically. Let's add one more field which is system date to this and concatenate it. So we'll use another method which is get system date. Yeah. Align it. Let's activate and check. We can refresh as we are already on the same parameter. The date has been displayed. Let's format the date by saying date environment. Date environment. There you go. The date has been formatted. That's it for this part. Last but not least, part 4 is coming up next. Stay tuned and happy learning. Bye.